Madam, good morning, ma. Good morning, sir. Mr. Ordinary President. Yes, ma. Wait good morning. Okay. Go good ahead. morning, Berekete family. Wait in be your name, ma. My name is Uchechuku Ozoduru. I came from Enugu State. But I base here in Abuja, you, the you, city of David Estate. You they live for Abuja here? Yes, sir. What about your husband? My husband is here in Abuja. Into the live for Abuja? Yes, sir. If he talk... My husband. This yes. is my elder brother. He's not my husband. Uh -uh. Oh, now your elder brother... Believes. Yes, sir. Okay. Make your elder brother introduce himself to you. Wait him be your name, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. My own name is American Stille. Okay, sir. Or, or Stephen. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Uh -huh. Make we appreciate them. <laughs> Madam, what him be the complaint we carry you come? Okay, sir. My complaint is that my elder brother is the police officer. He was enlisted in Nigeria Police first June 2000. Then uh, 2003, he mobilized to Mopotri Enugu. He, Which year he joined police? First June 2000. First June. 2000. The year 2000. Yes, sir. Then? On 2003. 2003. Yes. He mobilized, he mobilized to Mopotri Enugu. Okay. Then it was on uh, 2005. He was in active duty along with the road and so to nine mile. He was knocked down by a car. Hit and run. The police that they worked together they, could run, they were not able to catch the vehicle. They now took him to University Teaching Hospital, where, where? Enugu, where he was admitted and treated for head injury, which affected brain, ear, and eye. Then when they took him there, they just dumped him there at the casualty. No treatment. They just dropped him there, and they just leave the casualty. They are busy looking for the relation to come and take care of him. Luckily to me, I'm the first person they called that very day. And by then I was in Bauchi. I'm working in uh, the Bauchi by then. They called me around one o'clock. They said that my brother have seriously accident. I said, ah. But he called me in the morning. He said, yes, the accident happened around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. When the accident happened, they just went there, they took their gun and they took, they took him to the hospital. They went there and they dumped him. Then immediately I received so the call. So carry gun go the duty. There was an active yes checking point. So oh, now checking point then they yes. Now somebody carry speed con jam hit him sir and run yes. Okay. So they nine called police. No, make we try understand each okay, other. Okay, sir. Nine police we be in colleagues. Yes. Way then they do together that day to they are, they are at the, the same time point. that yes, very sir. day. Now then come carry and go hospital university teaching hospital and yes go. sir they carry and go there for emergency i be emergency that they, casualty uh, hey, they can't abandon him there. they dump him there mm -hmm. so they are busy calling the relation to come then i'm lucky lucky to me i'm they the can't first call person. you you yes, can't pick they call me. Happen. as they call me they say that my brother have a fatal car accident that i should come i said okay give him phone let me talk to him they say madam that he cannot talk I say, my brother cannot talk. They say, yes. I say, okay. Then I was searching for my manager all over. I saw him. I say, sir, they called me on phone that my brother has a fatal car accident that I'm going. He says, is he how to take permission from, from him that I'm working in a company that I want to travel like that, that I have to write a letter to him. I please him. I wrote. I give him. He permits me to go. To go. I enter more to that very night to Enugu. I was in nine miles around five o'clock in the morning. I was busy calling my brother line. Nobody to pick. And by the, the time that... And the they don't mention the name of the hospital we are in there. They told me. They said mm -hmm. University Teaching Hospital in Nugu, mm -hmm. opposite Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. They told me. Then I was calling his number to know whether the police officer would pick. Because they used, the, they used his phone and called me that very day. Then nobody pick. I called up to 15 uh, calls. Nobody pick. I said, ah, maybe my brother have passed away. I enter moto to Holy Ghost. As I reached Holy Ghost, I asked, then direct me to the hospital. I went there. I met the security at the gate. I explained. He said, who is the person? I said, one police officer. They brought him here yesterday in the afternoon. He said, okay, that I should go casualty, that the man is there lying down at the casualty. I said, sir, please direct me 
It's okay. I should walk straight, opposite mortuary, that I will see casualty there. I said, okay. go carry casualty near mortuary. So, no, I no, no, wait, wait. Sorry, you man. So, they just, that alone can defeat you. Ah. <laughs> they carry you. Emergency, emergency. Mm. You sustain injuries or something. Mm. You manage look up where yeah, they won't carry you enter. Yes. You see mortuary by the side. Yes, this sir. is not funny. No. This is not funny. It's just like some hospitals where they, they put a TB department. You know, say so they combine TB and HIV section. In most hospitals, no, in some hospitals where I don't go, it is day near mortuary. Mm. Okay, continue, man. Sorry for interrupting you, man. Oh, then I was going. I saw a, a woman. She was there washing clothes at the pump with the daughter. I asked her, ma, please, where is the casualty? She used language and tell her daughter with Ibo that she will not answer me. Maybe I'm a, I'm a dead person. Why am oh, I asking? Oh, okay, because they didn't hear much worse. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, when I don't they see. So the woman said that they, they normally see different things here. Yeah. That let her daughter know and Sammy. I say, okay, with Ibo. The woman don't know that I'm a Ibo. I say, ma, please, I'm a human being like you. That my brother is not feeling fine. That my brother has an incident yesterday. Accident. Yes. Mm. Then he, he, he tell her daughter not to answer me. Then I was busy calling my brother line. The security at the gate now called the nurse at the casualty that the sister is around. By then, I carry my traveling bag on my head. I carry Ghana must go on my hand. With my handbag. I make she suspects. Yes. Uh, na, na so the woman body. she's scared. She refused to direct. <laughs> because me where who I'm could come hospital carry traveling bag, carry handbag? <laughs> now person will don't die. In a journey you they go. So. Yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> sorry, see I laugh. I'm, no, I'm sorry. No, no. <laughs> so the nurse now wave hand for me. As he wave hand, I turn. She wave hand. She call me. Start. She come. I walk direct to the more casualty. As I went to the casualty, I saw my brother lying down on the floor. Unattended to? Yes, sir. Lying down on the floor. A police officer? Yes, sir. Nigerian police? Mm. No be arm robber? Mm. No be thief? And thief duty. So I saw him lying down and on no the floor. And no be illegal duty, you go, or, mm. or, or unless we go find out. We because, go find out, sir. Because this can kind of one where police go abandon, and maybe an illegal duty. No, we go abba. Mm. <laughs> So, sir, I saw him lying down on the floor with the uniform. I went there. They just so, tied him. Wait, oh, they abandoned him inside in uniform. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nigerian police. Mm. They abandoned him inside police uniform. Yes, sir. Uh, so, continue. that very day, he was bleeding through nose. He was bleeding through As mouth. At the time where you reach there. Yes, sir. He still did bleed. Yes, sir. Through nose. Yes, through mouth and ear. Through the next day. Yes. That's through what. nose, mouth, and ear. Yeah. Then I went there and they tied him because he was unconscious. I lose. So they tie him? Yes, they tied the hand like this near table. Tied the other one because he was unconscious. Then immediately I reach, I drop my bag. I walk steadily to him. I lay my hand on him. I pray. After I pray like 35 minutes, I stop. I remove the shirt. The shirt, the shirt have already soaked with blood. And luckily to me, he wears singlet inside. I pull the shoe. I remove the stockings. I pull the belt. I remove the trousers. He was wearing boxers inside. And I now open my bag. I remove my wrapper. Cover him. I walk to the nurse. I say, Ma, I'm here. What is the next thing to do? He said the next thing is that since yesterday that they brought him here, no treatment, no medical treatment. They just dump him here and run away. I said, okay, don't worry, ma'am, here. Yeah, what is the next thing? What is the next step that I should take? He said that I should buy a car first. That I, they should open folder for him. That I should pay so that they will move him to the ward. I said, okay. I said, how much? She wrote everything. Both, uh, um, it was written through oxygen. They wrote everything. They said I should pay 35,000 naira. I paid. Then bring the weight pusher. Then push him down to the eye ward. Then give us doctor, neuro, neuro doctor. We went there. And we went there. Doctor said, Madam, are you with any cash there? I said, Yes, sir. I'm with money. 
It's okay. Because when I was going, my you manager... any cash there? Yes. Hey. My manager gave me 50000 mm -mm. together with the one that I hold. Please, I... let's appreciate her manager. <laughs> what is your manager's name? Mr. Okafo. Mr. Okafo. Yes, sir. Ma Mr. Okafo, who? Okay, okay. May God Almighty. All of us where they here, we don't know who be Mr. Okafo, okay, okay. But God, you know him. Yes, sir. For this thing, when you do for this woman, God, anybody where they in heart, may you lift it up for him. Amen. May you make life easy for him. Amen. May God Almighty make life easy for all of us. Amen. So continue. So I tell you that all the time with money, it's okay that I have to run to market. That throughout yesterday, that the nothing like treatment given to him. Hmm. I say, okay, sir. He wrote list. As he wrote the list, I just enter Holy Ghost Market. I bought everything. He wrote custard. Custard one uh, for the pack is four pieces. I buy two pack. That is two carton. Mm. He wrote provision, milo, milk, everything. For who? Okay. For my brother. Uh, okay, okay. Then he wrote pipe. They passed the pipe through his nose. Mm -mm. He wrote phone. He wrote, uh, he wrote uh, a mortar, plastic mortar. He wrote, not this man have no right. Even kettle, even flax. Even a uh, 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 kerosene, everything. He wrote everything. I enter market. I ensure that I bought all. When I bought it, I bring it back. I called him. He said that I should put fire. I should put hot water. Let's do pap. I say okay. I put hot water. He now called nurse from the mortar that I bought, plastic mortar with paper. Do you remember this doctor name? Doctor Wansigwe. May God Almighty bless that man. Amen. Amen. You see, madam. Yes. Sir. Nobody say the doctor they wicked for all this list. In don't see the extent of yes. damage. Yes. For your brother body. You know, say your stay no go be three days, one week, two weeks. Yes, sir. Now make it prepare you so. Get your stove. Get this. Get this. Yes. Some of these things now things where the hospital supposed to provide for you. Yes. Sir. But in no say. The hospital no go fit give you. Yes, now I make all this. You can imagine, like say you they move into a new room, house. a yes. new house. So make you know, think say the doctor they wicked. Yes, now person will get good heart and he plan to take care of your brother. Yes, you understand. Yes, May God bless him too. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I bought all those things, even mat. You, you now call us, let us let us pound uh, the drugs. He found the drugs. I said the, I okay, put the drugs now. Now through nose, he did drink. No, mm -hmm. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. So nurse was pounding the drugs. Then I put water on the local drugs. I be a, 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 no, or tablet. You bought, or you bought, or you okay, bought tablet. Drugs. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Then after I prepare the pap, he said I should put the, uh, put the box, uh, the plate inside water so that I can cool immediately. I put it there. Mm -hmm. Everything cold. Then now mix the drugs inside the custard. Mm -hmm. Then pass the pipe through his nose. To her stomach. Wait, I beg. As we they talk now, yes, sir. we no announce, we don't do anything. One Hajara Mohammed say, make I uh, give your brother 2,000 naira. Thank you, sir. Thank she you, just, sir. She just send them now. Mm, thank you, sir. Mm. Hajara Mohammed, may God Almighty locate you and bless you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mm. So, as the, the, we, the doctor now came, he mix the drugs inside yes, the custard. They say make it cool. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. They mix the drugs inside the custard. Mm -hmm. They now pass the pipe through his nose to his to, to his stomach. Uh? Then put funnel. My brother was feeding through a uh, pipe for six good months. Feed uh, breathing through oxygen for good six months. Wait, funnel. Yes. Where did they put kerosene for inside? Yes, stove? they put it through the pipe. So. After the pipe can't come out, they can't connect and through funnel. Yes, funnel. Now, inside the funnel, now they will pour the medicine yes, and the, the food. Yes, the medicine and the food. For good six months, my brother was feeding through, uh, uh, breathing through oxygen, feeding through nose for six good months. So after everything, the next two days, the unit commander now came. He kneeled down. He said, Madam, please, I'm not around since long. I went for a case in a law. Um, after how many days before? Two you, days. Before the unit commander yes, come. Yes, two days. He now need that. He said, Madam, I'm not around. That I went for a case in a law. Please forgive me. I said, Sir, no problem. No problem. And it was most that bring them because they went straight to casualty. And my brother is no longer there in casualty. It was most that brought them inside the, 
the noodle world that we are. So I said, no problem, sir. You have seen how Stephen was feeding. He said, okay. Is it how he was feeding? He said, yes. He touched him. Stephen, Stephen, my brother, no whether you come, he, he don't know. Whether you know come, he don't know. He don't even know where he is for good six months. So the man was going, and I called him, sir. Please, for this my brother issue, we need money. And the doctor wants to say that we should go for CT scan brain. And this cost. Please, we need money. He said, Mr. Oso, don't, be, don't worry. Just try by all possible means to see that Stephen is alive. That's after everything that I have to send the hospital bill to the state command. Hospital that, bill? Yes, mm. to the state command that police will pay. That is Enugu State Command? Yes, mm -hmm. the CID Enugu. The police will pay. I said, okay. We are there. Oh, the, 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 that very day, he gave me 10,000 naira when he was going. I thank him. Every day he used to come. Every day he used to come. But the greatest thing that stands up to this day is the signal that he, rose, he raised that day. As he came, he mm. write a signal. He said, Madam, see, can you read? I said, yes, sir. He said, okay, see the signal that I write on behalf of your brother? I will forward one to uh, Fedra, one for state CID Enugu. I say, okay, sir. You see, if after the everything that I will submit the hospital bill, the police what, will pay. What do you write for the signal? The, he just write that uh, Corporal Osadu is still on the signal here. Mm -hmm. That the Corporal Osadu Stephen has accident over the uh, Osoka to Nine Mile Road at the checking point, active duty. He just wrote like that. He said that he will forward it to Fedra, one for state. I say, okay. Then he left. He still gave us money that day. As he left, we are there six months. Before you know it, doctor said that we should go for the CT scan. It's okay. Oh, all this while, when I'm going to go do the CT scan again. Two money. But we yeah. do the CT scan in one month. It's okay. in one month we did the CT. On 30th December, okay. we did the CT scan. Mm -hmm. Then after, is the unit commander that took us, took us where they and did the CT scan. Mm -hmm. So after we did everything, the doctor said that it was enough. That the NAF get little cracking. That with time that it will join together. We say okay, but we are suspecting maybe whether blood have entered his mm. brain. So the doctor said that there is no uh, blood inside his brain, but it is only enough that get problem. We say okay, six months, seven months, within a day, up to ten months before they discharge us in the hospital. Ten good months, I was lying sleeping on the floor, and in fact, my brother suffered. Mm. He used to poo poo in pampas or, or napkin. I used to wash them. We spent 10 months and some weeks in the hospital. Then after they discharge us, I now say, doctor, what is the next thing that I will do? He said, not that my brother is okay, but the money is too much. Mm. That from house, we can come for appointment. I say, okay. Before you know it, they moved the university teaching hospital to Itukozara in Albany Road. We are there. We used to go appointment. See, on a, we submitted the, the hospital bill on 20th, uh, uh, 20th September. Then they call us on uh, 5th November 2006 for the hospital bill, for the hospital payment. Then we went there at first headquarters here. We were paid the sum of 150,000 naira. After we have spent everything, we sold two sets of land to ensure that my brother is alive. Mm -hmm. And look at Nigeria, uh, police was paying us 150,000 naira. 150,000 naira, what can he buy? What can he stand for? I was crying. When they give us, they called my brother because before they pay you, they will mention how much they will pay you. They called us through Stephen, Corporal Osadu Stephen, 150,000 naira. My brother went and collected the check. He came and met me where I'm sitting down. I was there crying. I said, 150,000? I said, okay. When I went home, my mother called all the king's men and king's women. They was, they was shouting. They said, no, that they will contribute transports for me, that I'm going back to Abuja to go and give uh, uh, IG or DIG, this uh, 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 check. What is 150,000 naira? After my brother has suffered a lot, he lost his senses. He one of the ear have problem, one of the eye have problem. And they are paying us 150,000 naira. My people say no, that I must go back to Abuja and give them the money. So my mother now kneel down and please them. Say that, but you know the right sickness, you know the right uh, statement. statement. Mm. Say, as we see my brother's alive like this, let's take it like that. Let's leave uh, police. That you are one in son not to join Nigeria police. My, bro my brother said no. That he, he must serve our nation. He must serve our Nigeria. This, tell my mother no. Not to make him not to serve our Nigeria. In absence of my mother, he joined Nigeria police. And look at, look at the result. 
they just dump him like that. We are in the hospital when they drop his pay card. They remove his name from nominal role. They remove his name from payroll. They are no longer paying him. It was one they give us that check on 5th November 2006. And I don't have any other money. I said, okay, I asked the cashier. Cashier, please, I need money. He said, no, that the check will last like one month before the money will mature. Say right now, no money in the account. I say, okay, I don't know the next thing to do. And the pay point is in Calabar. I don't have any transport. I have to go back to village. I went there, I tell my mom, mama, I need transport. I want to go to Calabar to collect his salary. My mother said, okay. She went to see WO meeting. She borrowed money. And they give her 20,000 naira. He come. He gave me the money. I took my brother to Calabar because the pay point is at the uh, Takwa Division, Calabar. So we went to Calabar. We meet the finance, Mr. Umana. I said, sir, I come to collect my brother's salary. The salary of 2005 was paid. But 2006, even one naira, no one naira, no 50 kobo, I've given to him. Then the, the paymaster now said, madam, that they have dropped your brother pay card. They are no longer paying him. Mm -mm. I said, why? He said that he don't know. That I should go to uh, state command. I said, okay. I took my brother to state command. When we reached state command, then director that we should go to MSS office. We went to MSS office. We meet the OC Mopo there. The OC Mopo say, Madam, I, cannot, I don't know anything that I can do. You should go to first headquarters in Abuja. Mm -mm. ha, I come back. I now went back to Enugu, 3 p.m. I meet the admin. I say, sir, they are no longer paying Stephen again. They say that they have removed his name from nominal uh, payroll, that they have dropped his pay card. Mm. The admin say no, that the, there is no any signal indicating pay card drop, that I have to go back to Calabar. He wrote a letter to me. He gave me a written note, say I should go back to Calabar. I go back to Calabar, to MSS office. I meet the OC. OC couldn't attend to me. I go back where the pay point is. At you see the OC? I meet the OC. But he refused to attend to uh, you? He refused to. He said I should go to Calabar, uh, first headquarter. I now go back to the Atakwa division where the pay point is. I meet the Umana. Umana say, Madam, this letter that you brought, I cannot read it to take it to Abuja for sale quarter. We stay some we st that very day. The next day we left. We sleep outside. Nobody you attend to us. Me and my brother. With this injury? Yes. Nobody attend to us. We go back to Enugu. I tell the admin, sir, they did not attend to us. So it's okay. I should give him the letter. I give him the letter. He wrote another one. He said that we should go to first headquarters, Abuja. All these things that I'm going up and down with my brother, nobody supports me with the transport. Mm. It was only my mother with their relation. So I went back to Abuja. I went there. We spent three days sleeping outside at the adjacent to the uh, uh, Command, first headquarters. Uh, okay. They are cooked there where they are cooking food there. Yes. A cartoon. Mm. That was 2006, 2007. Mm. We are sleeping outside. We go past some days. Nobody will attend to us. If we enter inside the first headquarter, we don't even care whether I live today or live to no day. We trek. Nobody answer us. I passed so much, so many stress. We went back bitterly. After we went back, I think I had been, say, I had been up to now. They have not answered us. So. He says, so, there is no any signal indicating that they have dropped his pay card. I say, okay. Throughout that two six, nothing, nothing, no result. Two seven, two eight. I used to go to first headquarters. If I went there, nobody will answer me. I've been going. See, 2011, my mother now four partial stroke. Out of mm -mm. thinking. Out of thinking. Only son that he have. Nothing, nothing. He just, the police just push him out of work like that. So my mother, she now passed partial stroke. I was carrying my brother. I was carrying my mother. For how many years? Since 2017, my mother passed six years partial stroke before she gave up. 2017, before she gave up, she now called me. He said, if I don't marry today, I will marry tomorrow. But if I'm going anywhere, that I should not leave this my brother behind. Mm -mm. That I should carry him. That if I leave him, he will die. Even in her grave, she will not rest. She will not have rest of mind. I don't know that my mother is about to give up. Mm -mm. That after she talked, it was on Good Friday. She passed away. That is 2014. After how many days of telling you that thing? That very day. In the morning, she told me everything in the morning. Then in the afternoon, Good Friday, she passed away. Hey. Then I was crying. I don't know what to do. After the barrier, people come, we do the barrier, everything. 2018, I now married. After my marriage, I know any option. I cannot drop my brother. But my mom, because my mother have told me already. 
Uh, that any place that I'm going that I should go with you. If I do with wisdom, not be every man go tolerate yes, to make you carry your I am brother. coming, sir. Okay. Four men come. The first one come. I told him issue of my brother. I said, no. I cannot keep a grown-up person in his house. The second one come. I told him issue of my brother. No. See, the first, to, the fourth, that is this my husband now. He said, mm. no problem. Hence is the job that I have been doing that he will go with him. After our marriage, I carry my brother. Since that 2018 to today, my brother is still with me. And I took him to a specialist hospital, Wagwalada. All today's date, he was there in appointment. Every, every month, we are there in Wagwalada. Nobody is helping me. Police, they are not helping me. It was only CSP provost in first third quarter. When they told us that we have to run a scan, ENT, for EA. I now ran to him. I said, sir, they told us to run this scan, ENT, scan for EA. And the money, I don't get money. He said, how much is that? I said, 7,000. He said, it's 10,000. He said, don't worry, I should come tomorrow. Or should I get an account? I said, no, sir. He said, I should come tomorrow. As I went, he gave me the 7,000 naira. Make we appreciate the... DSP provost. DSP provost. DSP provost. CSP provost. CSP provost. Vincent. For first headquarters. Yes, sir. Wait him being named. Vincent. May God Almighty continue to bless him. Amen. Mm. So after the test, they find out that the, the two ear get problem, but one is more better than one. Mm -mm. So they say that we should use uh, ed, um, hearing age. That he get of one or 60,000, he get one or 250,000. If he want to take bait, he will remove it. After bathing, he will, yeah, fix, he it will back. fix it back. Yes. Okay, sorry. The Before we continue, man. Um, gr gr Grace Ogunleye, she said, 1,000 Naira for your brother. Thank you, ma. Anna Bankole. I know Bankole, 1,000 Naira for your brother. Thank you, sir. Ismail Barma Ibrahim, 1,000 Naira. Thank you. Innocent. Anibogu, Anibogu. Vincent. Abi. Innocent. Nchekwe. Nchekube. And your uh, and your bogo, twenty thousand nine. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Stephen Sunday Bama Ye, two thousand naira. Husseini Audu O Badu, three thousand naira. Make one of the Um, James Obed, two thousand naira. Thank you. Continue, ma. So, so how much be the total? <laughs> So, after everything, sir. Continue, ma'am. Okay. So, after everything, I don't know the next thing to do. 30,000, sir. 30,000. Oh, I'm going to come out 30,000 here. Thank you, sir. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. So, after everything, sir, I don't know the next thing to take. It was after I do finish my marriage 2018. It was on 2020, on 3rd December 2020. I came here. I was here after the program. We are outside. It was that Kalamakala that uh, handled the case that day. Then Kalamakala now come outside. You are, by then, you are in Kaduna, by then. So people was rushing him, rushing him to see him. So my brother, he was at the back. Kalamakala now pick him. Say, oh God, what is your problem? What brought you here? He cannot able to talk. Mm -mm. I now pick up. I started explaining. After I explained, finish, Kalamakala now give me appointment tomorrow. So I should come tomorrow very early in the morning. He hand me over to... He hand me over to... Collect your money. Thank Collect you so your much, money, sir. sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. He hand me over to the police at the gate. Mm -hmm. Say very early in the morning that they should attend to me, that I'm coming very early in the morning tomorrow. Mm. I give said, her, okay. give her. Somebody from the studio. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you so much. And then... Thank you. She, she may say, Eze Dimbo. Eze Dimbo. Eze Dimbo. Um, 3,000 Naira. Thank you give, so much. Thank you. Uh, Obina Amo Amos Ugu, 2000 Naira. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So I brought the uh, the complaint that the complaint that day. That was on 3rd December. Then after I spoke on air, mm. I just opened everything that very day. After I spoke on air, I call Frank Frankumba in first headquarters. Mm. He said, Frank, Mba, are you together with us in the studio? Are you hearing the program? Are you together with us with the program? He said, yes, sir. He said, okay, what is your contribution over this case? 
over this woman's report. He said uh, that he would like to see me and my brother one on one, more especially me. Akalama can I say no? That he will not leave only me and my brother to come. Mm. That he will bring personally bring us there. Mm. Look, we appreciate Akalama Kala. You know why? He knows say if they send una, first of all, then go frustrate una. Yes, sir. Second of all, then go insult una, come yes, demoralize una. Yes, sir. Then third of all, they go come one una say make una no come back here again. But yes, continue. Sir. So Akalama can I now say uh, um Frank, but that he will not leave only me and my brother to come. That will personally bring us there. Because if you leave me and my brother to come, he will not attend to us. He will abandon us. Uh, he said, okay, that let him bring us. He asked him time. He said, we should come by 2 o'clock. Eh, Kalama Kana announced, told him, let's 2 o'clock be 2 o'clock. Oh. He said, no problem. That is around. Then, I, the next day, Kalama gave me an appointment to be here before 2 o'clock. Since 13 in the morning, I'm already here. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm already here. You know one here and yes. I know one here and yes. Excuse me. Mm. I have suffered. Mm. I was here. After the program, Akalama can now say that uh, fire burns somewhere, that they are going somewhere, that I should wait behind. I said, okay. They went together with the workers, even Daddy, Eda. They went together. After they uh, came back around there to two, we now take off. We went to first headquarters. We are there. They say uh, Frank Mba is not around, that he went for a meeting, that we hmm. should wait for him. According to the PA, then we are there at the city room waiting for him till 4.30. 4.30 in the evening. Since morning, you have not tested anything. And now Frank Mba give the yes, appointment. Yes, I give the appointment. When I see... Police. Uh, uh, when, I, when I know why they even live when I sit down there. No. Because I can not lie. lie. is with they us. They don't push you yes. now. After they go... They, Disgrace they, us. Hmm. Okay. So, they give us the room to wait for him. We are there waiting for him till 4.30 in the evening before Frank Mba now came back. The PA now said that uh, Frank Mba is around. And Akalamakala said, okay, tell him that I'm waiting for him. He said, okay. He went there and tell him that Akalamakala is here. The man now came. He said, Akalamakala, don't, please don't be, don't be offended. I went to somewhere. I went to a meeting. Akalamakala said, no problem. No, for the fact, say Frank Mba apologized. Make we appreciate Frank Mba. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. So he said, no problem. He now called me. He said, what tribe am I? I said, I'm Bibu. I came from Enugu State. He said, okay, what is the problem? Mm -hmm. He said that he will ask me would questions. Would you concern your tribe with the problem with the foreground? He said that he would like to ask me questions. But the first day, he said that he would like to ask me two or three questions. But that day, he asked me more than 10 questions, mm -hmm. and I answered them all. Mm -hmm. The first question, he asked me, where is my brother is going when he has the accident? Uh -huh. I said, sir, my brother, he was in active duty at the checking point. He Something where... All he needed to ask you was your brother's first number. He asked me to. And then, which command? Yes. Then, in, go just send message to the command and query yes. the details of how they book out for the uh, uh, operation, mm -hmm. where they go, how it take happen, when it happen, who and who they on duty that day. Not be for them to torture you with mm. questions. You know be police. Abi will be police. I'm not the one you police. You didn't hear with them? No, sir. So continue. So he asked me, when the, I told him where the accident took place, he said, okay, what is, did I know my brother's first number? I said, yes. He said, did I know when he joined Nigeria police? Mm -hmm. I said, yes. The whole question he asked me, I endeavored to answer all from A to Z. He said, okay. Where is the, the pay point? I said the pay point is in, Aka, in Calabar. He said, is it the first uh, uh, appointment? I said, yes, sir. The point, first appointment is in Atakba Division. And the same Atakba, the pay point is there. He said, okay. He said, uh, that I should... He said, did the time that the accident happened, did the police do anything? Did the police know? I said, sir, the signal now, police is there. Now, carry him. Go down yes. for that place. Where I said, police is away. Mortuary. I say police is away. It's police that took him to the casualty. Near mortuary. Yes. And after the incident, after the hospitality, everything, police paid. And they paid 150000 And we spent more than that. I told him, 150000 Naira cannot stand as the city's can bring. Talk more of the provision Order, that we uh, take. Uh, 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 
Yes. Apart from other money, other we money, we sold two sets of land to save in life, and the police are paying us hundred and fifty thousand. Then the Frank Banan say, eh, "I should not. I should forget that one. If my husband give me, if my husband was giving me five thousand to cook a pot of soup, anytime my husband don't have money to cook, he give me one five. Can't I manage it? I say, okay, I will manage it. In present of Akalamakala, my example be that. Yes, that is what he told me. In present of Akalamakala, so. He said, okay, he hand us over to Alaji Lazon. Ah. Uh, Salis <laughs> uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, wrong person. That one, <laughs> that one, too. He started asking me his own question. Things that they're supposed to do, they're supposed to send signal on their Simple. own. They were sending me up and down. They were sending me up and down. Okay. Alaji Lazon now sent me. He asked me, did I know where my brother was trained? I said, yes. My brother was trained in Oji ah, River. Ah. They send me to Oji River to go and bring attestation form. They send me to Enugu 3 PMF to go and bring signal. They send me to Calabar to go and bring interruption letter. They send me to MSS to go and bring the Peru. In fact, I suffered. Instead of them to send signal, they did not send. They were sending me up and down. And they are not supporting me with the transport too. They are they, not supporting they me. They just they do that one to frustrate you. Yes. So that you to give up. You go get you, you go tire. Yes. You go and talk, I say, you tire. Do again. Mm. I don't even give up. I still follow them bomber to bomber. You resemble that uh, Yes, uh, sir. Uh, uh, you resemble mm -hmm. that. Mm. So sir, I follow them. Luckily to me, I went to G River. The man that I met is the I met one patron. Is their patron when they was trained. One mm. elderly mama mm -mm. with one man, Pius. He said ah, I know this face. Is it not Steven? Mm -mm. My brother says, sir, I'm Steven. Uh, yeah. I said, ah, he's the most obedient person oh. in their in the, in the group when oh, they were training. Oh, my goodness. Let's and appreciate him. So he said that my brother is very, very brilliant. That is the uh, leader by then. So the mama now give us 5,000 naira, the metron. He so much love my brother. May, 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 may God bless that metron. Amen. Amen. So the woman advised me, by then, my brother is okay now, now. If yeah. he stand, he'll be pouring speed like this. I'll be cleaning the speed. Oh. So the mama look my brother. Saliva go they come up yes. for his mouth. The mama look my brother. Without control, you know go you know go if he control the saliva. So the the uh, ASP now give us two thousand. Mama give us five thousand. Then prepare the entire uh, attestation form. Give us original. The photocopy is here with me. Then I went to Enugu to collect the the signal. They said, no, madam, we don't know you. That uh, they are the new uh, Ogade. That they, when my brother has this incident, that they don't know my brother. Uh -uh. That they cannot give me any letter concerning my brother. I was dragging with them. I call Alaji Lazon. I was dragging with you them. You don't carry your brother for nobody. I, call, I carry him. Some of the some of in their unit mates, they hmm. know him. They, was they recognize him. him. Yes. They was pouring him, son, whether he's the one. The oh. one... They don't conclude, say he don't die. Yes. Carry son, they pour him for, yes. for him body. Yes. They, they call, they call mate there. They was pouring him son, Steve, you know, are you the one? Because he's popular. Everybody knows him. He say he's the one. But immediately, others that know him, when they saw me, they know that he's the one. Then they was pouring him son. My brother get up to 15,000 naira that day. The money that they gave him to wash his clothes. Though, they, that very day, the ASP, and uh, two YC, they refused to give me the sig they refused to give me the signal. I said, okay, I call Alaj Lazon. Alaj Lazon said, okay, I should leave them, that I should go to Calabar. I said, no, I will not leave them. I was dragging it with them that day. I refused to leave the office. Yes. They now call Alaj Lazon because it's Alaj Lazon that it's gave me. It's not Alaj, IG Lazon. So, IG Lazon. Uh, Thank you, sir. And you know they here again. You know they for Serkot again. Uh, you know so, you know. I called him. He now called the police officer. He said that the woman that you sent for me, she refused to leave my office. So she refused to, she wants to fight me in my office. So Alaj, he now called me, said I should go to Calabar. No go that, anywhere. That she goes to Calabar, that from Calabar, that they will give me introduction later. That is Calabar that will introduce my brother more better than Enugu people. I said, okay. I left. When I was crying, the OC there now give me 5,000 naira, make I support my transport. I collect the money. I cannot leave it for them. Mm, I collect the money. Not part of your. Mm -hmm. mm. I collect the money to support my pocket. We travel to Calabar that very day. When we reached Calabar, it was in the night. I met one uh, OC there. 
The OC say, ah, madam, why are you coming in the night? I said, his, his moto, they are, our moto spoil on the road. He said, where can you sleep? I said, I don't know any place here. Oh. The man now called the driver. He said, let the driver t take us to a tour bus. Officer's mess. He asked me, what is the ran rank of my brother? I said, it was a corporal by then. He said, okay, a corporal not supposed to be in officer's mess, but as I'm coming from far place, let them take me there. He called the driver. The driver now take me to officer's mess in a tour bus. We are there. For good one week, they are looking for my brother Peru. For good one week, they did hmm. not see my brother Peru. Then the OC now give the old police Which officer. Which year this thing happened? 1978. 2005. It happened. 2005. Yes. Nine police. They look for Peru. Somebody payroll for yes. one week. Yes. Continue. They scatter all their chef that they are looking for the payroll. They did not see it. For good one week, oh, we are still at the top of it. We are the one feeding ourselves. Oh. Any day that they break, I will take taxi from a top as to the state command. For good one week. Then the OC now said, Madam, you are coming all the way from uh, Abuja from first headquarter without any written note that I should go back. I said, Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. I will. By then, he have already given the old police officer that work in the MSS office that he give them more two days to find the payroll. That if they did not see the payroll, Means they are the one eating my brother's salary for some years. The man said I should go. That if I'm coming back next time, I should make sure that I come with a written note. I said, okay. I called the CSP provost in first headquarter. He said, okay, I should come. I went. As I went there, they now gave me to a Russian letter from first headquarter. I went back to um, state command, Calaba. Because they said that they would call me. And they did not call me. For three days, they did not call me. I have to go back. After I go back, the police officer was telling me, eh, we did not see where we write your number again, mm -mm. but we have seen the payroll. Mm. I said, thank you, sir. When they are preparing the payroll, I'm not an illiteracy. I'm with my own level certificate. I saw what they are writing. They are putting constable on my brother's uh, payroll. Constable? Yes. And my brother is a corporal. Mm. I said, sir, my brother is not a recruit. Too. My brother is a corporal. Why are you putting a uh, uh, constable on uh, his form? He said, madam, that I cannot teach him his job. That is what he saw, is what he will, he will mm -hmm. write. Which means that is two five. They paid his salary. He was promoted 1st September 2005. They're supposed to increase his salary, but they are still paying him at the rate of new recruit. Mm -mm. I said, okay, we are dragging it. I called the CSP provost in first headquarters. I said, I should not worry for the promotion, that I should collect the letter first. Mm -mm. I said, I should collect the letter first. When I'm fighting for the, for the letter, I will fight for the promotion. He said, I should collect the letter. I collect the letter. Uh, when the man was giving me the letter, he said, Madam, let me tell you, you cannot teach me my job. Go to Enugu at the state command and bring the promotion signal. If I bring it, that I should take, take it to budget. I said, okay. As they give me the paper, I do not come direct to Abuja. I go back to Enugu. Then when I go back to Enugu, I went there to do the pension certificate. I used the opportunity to collect the promotion signal. When I went there, they asked me, when did they promote my brother? Because when they promote him, he called me. Every day, it was only two of us that my mother gave birth to. He used to call me every day. Every blessed day, he would come in the morning, he would come in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, he called me, that he, he then promoted him on 1st September. Then I told the, those people that they promoted him 1st September 2005. They bring the whole paper, they were searching, and I was searching. I'm the first person that will see his name. Mm -mm. I say, ma, look at my brother's name, also do Stephen. He say, yes, yeah, you're a lucky person. They now printed it. The paper is here. The whole document is here with me. The whole document that I collect, everything uh, uh, pertaining to my brother, the whole document is here with me. Then after I collect the whole document, I now take it to budget. Attached with the introduction letter that they give me from first headquarters. I took it to budget. budget. When I went there, I see ASP, Irusa. He asked me, madam, uh, look at this item, go and get them. I said, sir, all the old document is here with me. Mm -hmm. He said, are you sure? Mm -hmm. I said, yes, sir. The one that they give me in Calabar, the introduction letter with the payroll, mm -hmm. I hand it over to him with a big envelope. He opened it. He was using that my own as an example to other people mm -hmm. there. Because the boy, he wrote, he wrote, in fact, he tried. He even attached another paper at the back. So you show everybody there. I hope you get photocopies of all, all the, the documents. documents. Yes. You get photocopies yes. now. Then after I submitted everything, Ogairusa now give me appointment that is batch to batch. 
that I should wait like three months. Which year be that? That is 2001. 2021. Oh, 2021. 2021, uh -huh. yes, sir. 2021. Last year. Last year. I submitted the whole document. And you started this struggle since? 2006. Continue. 2006, not 16. 2006. 2006. Yes. Now you start the struggle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then on uh, 2021, I submitted the whole document in budget. After I submitted them in budget, the ASP heroes announced that it's badge to badge. That my brother badge will last like three months before they will capture him. That they have to capture him again. That they have captured others, but they have not captured my brother. I said, no problem. Three months passed. This man did not call me. Till December, December passed, he did not call me. I went there myself in first mm -hmm. uh, in budget. Because mm -hmm. every day by day, I used to go to budget as my father's house. Mm -hmm. Even first headquarter, I used to go there as my house. As my, as, as, as my father's house. Mm -hmm. Then when I went there, I said, oh, guy, Rusa, he had no rich time to capture my brother. Because they, one of my brothers is working there. He used to give me information. Mm. Uh, okay, Rusa, I said, no, you have not reached my brother mm -hmm. badge. I said, okay. Throughout December, no information, not, no call. January, I went there. I said, okay, Rusa, today you must capture my brother. So I've been long. For how many months? He said, okay. I went to PJ. I explained everything to PJ. I Who know, be PJ? I don't, the Oga. Now his name be PJ. I be the now in position the be PJ. The, the promotion is PJ. I don't know his name. But I know the Ogairusa. So, Ogairusa say uh, they will, will capture him, but time have not reached. I meet uh, the, the PJ. The PJ say uh, that he, he, he himself called Ogairusa. Let's call that woman. Let him bring him brother for capturing. Mm -hmm. Didn't Ogairusa call me? I said, sir, he did not call me. Ah, ah. He did not call me. And my phone is on 24 mm -hmm. hours. My phone is on. Yes, I'm doing something with the police. I hadn't take last. Mm -hmm. My phone is on. Then I say, sir, okay, sir, never call me. And me and him, we are like cataract. If I went to his office, he will send me out. Miss Oya, work out for my office. I will leave. Mm -mm. I will not fight him. Then the Let him be no sir, rank. ASP, sir. Okay, continue. So the PJ now said I should go and call him. Opposite in office. I call him. I said, guy is calling you. He called him. He said, okay, sir. I called you myself. I said, you should call this woman. Let him bring him brother. Mm -hmm. That they call people different places. Mm -hmm. People from Kaduna, people from uh, different <laughs> places. Mm -hmm. Enugu, they, they came for capturing. Okay, Rusa, why? Why do you, do, you have not captured this woman? This woman? And, uh, her brother, do you? He said that uh, he called my line. My line is not true. You tell, my line is not going. I said, that is lie. Mm -hmm. You have not called me even a day. Mm. My phone is on 24 and hours. And even if you call a person, you didn't know you, you send you know message. Sent them sex, text you send message. message to mm. me. Even I get up to three phones, but that very one, mm. I hardly allow my children to play with it. The one way concerned yes. police case. You yes. know they play with them. Yes. Mm. So I keep it. See, I keep it one place. Even though if I'm going to work, I'll go with it. Mm. I tell Ogilisa, Ogilisa, you have not called me. You have not called me. So Oga blamed him that very day. As Oga blamed him, he said, Madam, immediately Oga search people's number from IPPIS. He called them. Let them check a uh, corporal order to Stephen that they submitted the form so, so, so day. They check. They say, do you see the name? Even the serial number, everything. They say, yes. They, they confirm. They confirm. They call the man say, okay. Let's appreciate IPPIS for, for being computerized. Yes, sir. Mm. So the man said, Madam, tomorrow is Thursday. Prepare your brother very early in the morning. Be here tomorrow for the capturing. Mm. I say yes, sir. And you lay down. No? I greet him. I mean, I say, what? Which time you say make you make you come? He say make I come very early in the morning around eight. But seven thirty, I'm there. I know you. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's appreciate her. <laughs> so never give up spirit. I never give up. Mm. Seven thirty, I'm there. When I, I was there before Oga come, before Oga Irosa came, I was there. He said, Madam, are you, you are here already? I said, Yes, I'm waiting for you. He went inside his office. He packed all the system that he's supposed to use there, the IPPS, put it inside there, his vehicle. He said, Let me enter. Let my brother enter. We enter together. We went there. Who at PJ IPPS. Man, PJ, no, I, I, ASP, Irusa. Oh, after they forced him, now he. Yes, uh, now mm -hmm. he come. Uh, mm -hmm. After I forced him. So he prepared everything, all the system, said we should enter Moto. We enter Moto. We went there. Straight to IPPIS. After they capture one man, before they capture my brother. When they capture my brother, he was asking us questions, where the pay point is, this and that, when he joined police, everything. Mm -hmm. My brother, he knows that one, but if you ask him deep, 
he will not know mm. because he hardly remember mm. things. So after they capture everything, we come back around 12. We went there to greet a uh, PJ. I said, thank you, sir. I greet him. He said, madam, but one thing. I give you two weeks for you to take your brother to Enugu to resume work. Then that they will give that, that, that they will give me a written note from there that he have resumed work fully. That if I fail to bring the letter, that they will block my brother account. I say yes. And as at that time, sir, they, they don't already block the account. They, yeah, they don't block him now. They don't block him for how many years? Oh, oh. When they capture him, they now bring him back to Nigeria police. They have come, they have dropped his pay card since now. Then I say no problem, sir. I said, sir, but as we are going, you give me two weeks to take my brother to Enugu for him to resume work. Sir, did we need any other covering notes? He said, no, that the IPPS paper that they give me covered a lot. I said, okay, I thank him. I go back to state to first headquarters to CCS people first. I went there. I said, sir, they have captured my brother. I now present the paper to him. He said, congratulations. After everything, you make it. I said, yes, sir. He said, congrats. When are you going back with him? I said, sir, the man gave me only two weeks to take him to Enugu to, for him to resume work. But I said, I want to ask you, did we need any other covering notes? He said, no, that the IPPS paper that they give me, if I'm going that I should photocopy it and take the photocopy there, that the paper is enough. I said, okay. I took the paper. After two weeks, we bought, we, I spent, my husband spent money. We bought uniform. We sold the uniform. We bought a bed. I bought barrette. Only boots that he's wearing. I bought his 13,000 naira. Only the boots. Drink water, smoke. <laughs> Please, let's appreciate it. And don't rush the water. Just take your time. Madam, you are somebody that should be celebrated. Yes. Madam, where are you the work now? I'm a cleaner in one estate, sir. Today, I want to say to the hearing of the whole world, how much did they pay you there? They are paying me 20,000 naira, sir. This woman, an asset she be. If you want to agree with my suggestion, make her tell me. We they get plenty of police cases here, and we not get person where Sabi the in and out of police procedure and protocol. May we employ this woman here? Yes, sir. May we employ her? Yes, sir. Madam, yes, sir. this month don't work out already. You don't work out already? Yes, sir. You go start work next month here and your salary now 30,000 naira. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. And because you they take care of your brother, you no go work from morning till evening. Hold the mic. Okay, sir. You go come in the morning. We go do anything we concern police. Their documents. Yes, sir. Now you and other people, but now you go lead the team. Okay, sir. Now you and other people go attend to the area, family of police will, will die. Yes, sir. Or re retirement benefit or something because of the worker where you yes. don't work out. Thank you, You sir. don't get knowledge where way big past your, 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 your Thank age. Thank you, sir. Now, if you will attend to people, we finish program in the morning by 11, 11.30, maximum 12 o'clock, you go back. You Thank don't you, close sir. for that day. Thank you, sir. I'm so happy, sir. Thank are you, you sir. Are you happy, ma? Over happy, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The reason why I talk, say, make you do close now, so that you can continue to take care of our brother. Yes, sir. Thank you, you sir. Yes, sir. I, I don't know whether this one... Uh, if Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you, ma. So Thank continue, you, ma. So after everything, I we spend a lot of things. We buy, we bought, I cut uniform three years, 6,000 6, naira. So in this 4,000 naira. I bought bed, 1,005. I bought by rate, 3,000 naira. I bought the corporal rank, 700 naira. 
I bought button, 1,002. I, different thing. This boot that he's wearing, I bought is 13,000 naira. 13,000? Yes. Mm. 13,000 naira in budget. That is where I bought everything. Then I bought mattress, 70,000 naira. Mm. Mattress, 70,000 naira. I bought gas cooker with the filling it, 20,000 naira. Then we rent a house for him in Enugu. Because the PJ told me, let him go back and resume work. Mm. Then we have to rent house for him, 150,000. Then this was one of my cousin brother that rent the house. I called him. He finished his work. He's no longer doing anything. I said, I cannot leave my family. Mm. and with three kids mm. and my husband. Mm -mm. I don't know how I would do my brother. Please, what is your ambition? He said that he wants to learn auto mechanic. I said, okay, meet the Oga. Let Oga tell me how much. He meet the Oga. The Oga said that it is 30,000 naira per year. I said, sir, collect 20,000 naira for me, please. The man said, okay. I now send the 20,000 naira to my cousin brother. He rents the house, 150,000 naira. So they got the live together? Yes. They, even the day my brother have not passed the night, they am coming. Then I rent the house, 150,000 naira. By January now, the house will be expired. By January. Then after everything, we buy everything, reach to Enugu. We went to Enugu. They said, no, I present the letter, the IPPIS paper that they gave me to the two YC and the OC Mupo and admin. They say, no, no, ma, they cannot work with this paper, that they work with Signa. That this paper that I brought cannot bring him back to work. Hmm? That this paper is for his salary that they have not paid him for some years. That I should go back to first headquarter. That if I go back, that I should go to welfare. If I go welfare, that welfare will give me the statement Signa that will bring him back to Nigeria police again. I say, okay. That very day, we did not, we did not sleep because we take night to Enugu that day. We still enter night bus. I called my cousin to come and pack all those things that we bought. He take all those things where he rents the house. For my mind, that maybe the next day we are mm. coming back. Mm. From there, inside the 3 p.m. WF, I called CP Welfare. See, I called the CS, CSP Provost, Mr. Kenneth. I said, sir, Mr. Vincent, I said, sir, they still send us back to where. Uh, First headquarter that we should go to welfare <coughs> and collect the statement signal. I put it in loudspeaker. He says, Is it what they want? I say, Yes, sir. He said, Okay, I should come back. And then they hear that time. We then they hear, I put, I, I was in the office. Mm -hmm. He said, Okay, I should come back. I said, Okay, I go back. That very day, we still enter night bus. Six o'clock, six o'clock, I was here in Abuja. We bath. I called him, sir. I'm here in Abuja. I'm here in Abuja. He said, Okay, that you resume by eight. By 8 o'clock, I went there. I explained everything to him. He said, okay, that I should go to welfare. Hence, they told me that it's welfare that will give me the letter. I go to welfare. When I went there, I met uh, Mr. Uh, SP, John Barker, and uh, David Ako. They said, madam, what is that? I explained everything to them. They asked me, <coughs> did your brother the mob? I said, no, sir. Did they sack him? I said, no, sir. Did they the, uh, the, uh, mm, declare him a desertion? I said, no, sir. He said, okay, why are they looking for the statement signal again? I said, I don't know. They said, okay, do you know how to write? I said, very, very well. They said, I should apply. I wrote. I said, let them give me the data heading. They give me the address of uh, uh, DIG. I wrote a letter to DIG. After I wrote the letter, they attached the whole document that I carry. They attach it with the letter that I wrote. They forward it to AIG. When they forward it to AIG, AIG say, ah, hence the man had been captured. Why are they bringing the memo to her office again? Let them go ahead and prepare the signal to us. They say, I know that they would like to hear from a, a IG, a DIG. They now forward the letter to DIG. The DIG said no. That uh, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria government cannot afford the money. That the money is too much. Mm -mm. That is what he told me. It was simply... Well, What's going to be the name of this DIG we we'll talk this? Uh, Senus, um, Senusi Lemu. DIG Senusi Lemu. DIG Senusi Lemu. Yes. Nain, look you. Yes. Look your brother. I'm coming. Talk, sir. say this money too much. Say federal I'm government coming, no sir. go free pay. Yes, sir. He said federal government cannot pay the money. It was CP Provost and CP Welfare. That's then they did. Yes, they are. All the of them did when yes. they did. Yes. The DIG talked that. Yes. Thing. They are the one that took me to his office. So For first headquarters, yes. Yes. When they took me to his office, they give me my own chair like this. Then they sit together closer to him. When he raised up his head, he
he saw me. He said, Madam, who gives you right to sit down in my office? Will you get up? I said, I need down. I said, sorry, I go on my knees. I said, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. For good five times. Sorry, sir. Sorry, mm -hmm. sir. He did not talk. Like two minutes, he said, I should stood up. I stood up. I was standing till he judged my case finished. He said that he cannot, he cannot uh, uh, sign for the memo because the money is too much. The Nigerian government cannot pay. Then the CP provost now says, sir, for the sake that the incident affects the brain. Mm -hmm. And Wait, I, the name of the CP provost. The CP <coughs> provost. The name is the CP Okoroje Alawa. Let's appreciate him. May God bless him. <coughs> so he said no, that he cannot force him to do. Uh, the man said, as the thing affects him, eye, ear, and brain, mm. let's board him and pay him off. Mm -hmm. Even the family does not want him to work as a police officer again, again. Mm. because of his condition. He said no, that if we sign this letter, that Nigeria government will suspect him with the uh, uh, DIG and CP welfare, that he will not sign it. So the CP welfare is a woman, uh, CP Christiana Ibeso Kuki. He May said, God bless her too. Amen. Although we never hear, hear what she do. Yes. <laughs> we gonna hold on a clap. Mm. So she said, sir, that this woman, she has been coming, coming, coming since. 2006 till now, she gave up uh, 2011. She now take the issue to woman right. That is since when she started this issue with the woman right. That is when police started answering her. Mm -hmm. That as the case with woman right. Yeah. Oh, human rights yes. radio and television. Yes. Okay. So the woman say for the say that she's coming from woman right. Let's reinstate him back, as you say that the money is too much. Let's reinstate him back and be paying gradually, gradually. What thing he can uh, respond? The DIG said no, that he cannot sign it. He dropped the Bible. He looked me, he said that I wanted to cry. He sent me out of his office. He said, Madam, leave my office. I said, You should leave the my DIG office. DIG Lemu, wait. Senisi. DIG DIG Senisi Lemu. Lemu is the surname. Mm. Senisi is the name. Mm. And because I look you very well. Analyzer. Mm. So. <laughs> So he walked me out. I was outside with the PA. I was there crying. Crying. The PA now said, Madam, Oga is inside his office watching you here. Will you leave this office? I refuse to leave. I was there crying till the a CP provost came out and the CP uh, welfare. They said, let's go down. Let's go down. I was, I was there crying, crying. I'm tired. I left that day. The next day, I still go back to Human Rights, to uh, first headquarter. I said, sir, I come to ask you, what is the next step that Who I you take? go meet again? I want to find something who, for them out. Who you go meet? I go meet CP Provost. Okay, okay. After I meet CP Provost, I meet CP Welfare. Mm -hmm. I say, sir, I come to ask you the next step that I will take. He said, which next step? Didn't uh, CP Welfare told you what uh, Oga said? She Oga said everything you were present. That the order is from above. That uh, they cannot, he cannot do more than that. Too. He cannot take me anywhere again. That I should leave his office. And That's I proposed the provost. Yeah, yes. I proposed he went there to get his name. Where him be his name? Sir? <laughs> his name is the CP Okoroje Alawa. The same man where we clap for. Yes. Make we not turn the back off on our hand. <laughs> we don't withdraw <laughs> clap where we clap. Mm -hmm. So he sent me out of his the office. Okay, as he sent me out of the office, I went to CP welfare. I said, Mama, good morning, because she's an elderly woman. Mm. It's the morning. How are you doing? I say I'm, fi I'm fine. Yeah. How is your brother? I say my brother is fine. What's your name? Uh, uh, CP uh, Christiana uh, Kuki Ibeso. Mm. So he say, how is my brother? I say my brother is fine. She dip inside her bag and give me seven thousand naira. So I thank I, her. I sh sh I believe say by now she go down retire. No, she's there. She's this still happened there. last month now. Let's appreciate her. It happened last month. She's there. Mm. She's there. Mm. Even the the PJ and with the PJ, uh, even the PA. Even the Lemo, all of them, they, they, they stay there. there. Yes, then they did. It, mm. it happened last month. Mm -hmm. On 20th of last month. Mm -hmm. So she said that the other Oga have said, the other came from my brother, that he, she don't know what to do. And now go back to public uh, complainant in seventh floor. I went there, I meet uh, you, Ayuba. I said, Ma, do you recognize me? He said, yes, you will see me when uh, Ajala Zong was here. I explained my feeling to her. I said, Ma, I'm going back to Umaraito. 
as the as the uh, DIG said that uh, he cannot sign this memo, that the money is too much, that I'm going back to woman rights. He said, okay, let uh, that let her check and know what she would do. That she would like to tell the PRO that she come tomorrow. The next day I went there, no answer. In two days I went there, no answer. I said, ah, this woman, she have taken my time. I said, okay, the only thing, let me go back to Adnari Ahmed and give him feedback. So that is the reason why I'm here, sir. All of us here, anybody, when no they pray, may God give an sister like this, make it rise up in hand. <laughs> anybody, when they wish, say, make God bless them with this kind sister, make it rise up in hand. Anybody, when they impressed with waiting this woman talk, make we appreciate her. Thank you, sir. If you not this say, this woman deserve make we make we clap for and where we give her standing ovation. Make all of us stand up. Mm -hmm. Madam, this is for you. Thank you, sir. We are very proud of Thank you. Thank you, my excellence. Thank you. Please Thank sit you, down, everybody. President. Thank you. My brothers, my sisters, if I looked down on a sister time done, they give us signal, signal to do things, signal, make we continue to do not they go. Madam. Yes, sir. The IG where I know. Yes, sir. The present IGP. IG Usman Al Ali Baba. Na compassionate man. Yes. Na man. We carry humanity first before any other police work. Yes, sir. Na man. We they consider people before he react yes, now man we know the rush to talk me and i'm be friends for over 20 years close to mm. 30 years mm. yes yes i know i'm from kaduna till he, he grow for rank rich ig now I not supposed to swear and I no go swear. But even if I swear, shame no go catch me. Yes, sir. If IG get to hear this matter, you go see the way the matter goes somersault, can't take acrobatic. Amen. Follow. Yes. This I assure you by the grace of God. Thank you, sir. I no go call IG today because today is a weekend. Yes, sir. You go come back on Monday. Okay, sir. The first thing what I go do on Monday, by the grace of God, yes, if sir. God spares our lives, we go check the timing of your talk. Okay, sir. After we introduce our program, after we do one or two cases, we go play back your voice okay, and your sir. video. Yes, sir. From the beginning to the end, as me and you they talk now. Yes, sir. Then when you talk finish for the video and the audio, yes, sir. then I go use phone. I go call IG. Usman Al Ali Baba on live radio, television, and social media. Yes, Make you not hear. Yeah. Thank you. Waiting Thank go you. be in contribution. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Make we appreciate my sister. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my president. And uh, as I they do pro that time where you they talk, I don't want to interrupt you again because okay, I should say many people no go happy say I they interrupt you. Okay, but sir. many people don't contribute money. Amen. My Thank money you, still remains. Uh, uh, Thank you, sir. If we if you finish, we borrow. <laughs> or we give uh, instruction. Make one help me the read them. Mohammed Osume Adabayo. 2000 naira. Thank you so much. Michael, Egbe, Michael, the, the 1000 naira. Thank you, sir. Mohammed, Aliyu Mohammed, Getado, 5000 naira. Thank you, sir. Ugu Godwin, Onyeka, 2000 naira. Thank you, sir. This one, the no put name. 2,000 Naira. Thank you so much. 
Usman Jamil, 1,000 Naira. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Musa Jibrin, he said this one, not for the woman. 1,000 Naira. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shajir Yenamga Gabriel, 1,000 Naira. Thank you so much. Small oh, Wakil Marathon, we pay the call. Uh, make a call this one. Smalto Ventures Limited, 5,000 Naira. Thank you. Hello, Your Excellency, sir. Good morning, Your Honor President. Yeah, good morning, sir. In fact, uh, today is my day. This mm. one has made my day. Yay, let's appreciate. <laughs> Madam, you have made his day. Thank you so much, it sir. Is a gallant woman. You, gallant, Thank gallant, you. gallant. Thank gallant. you, sir. So, inshallah, my dear president, in support of what you are offering her, for my salary, I'll be giving her 10,000 naira. Thank you, you so much. Your salary don't be 40,000 naira. Thank you so double, much. Double, double. Thank you. <laughs> now, only God fit. Do double and triple and yes, multiply sir. for anybody. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. This is. Yeah. For you to uplift our president. Amen, sir. Uh, Umar. Uh, Umar, she will be there, sir. Yes, my honor president. Wakile Marafan Nupe, sir. My honor president. I beg. Yes. I know, say, you get connection with police. You get connection w with the judiciary. Exactly, my president. Help me put in a word or two. Well, yes, my president, as she was narrating, already I'm already thinking of doing a, a paper to the Attorney General of the Federation. Thank, so you. Thank you so much. Welfare board. Police welfare monitoring board, which will be entirely different for police trust funds or whatever. Because all retirees, all deceased Nigerian police, women, children that are incapacitated will be taken care of from that board. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm very working much. on that. And inshallah, my honor president, it will speak for itself. Amen. So, I bet help uh, me. Help me talk to the police management and the judiciary. Yes, my honor president. I will think of then I would uh, personally let you know what we can thank, do about it. Thank you so much. Thank yes, you. Yes, my Yes. Yes. Make we appreciate her. Thank you so much, sir. I see the reader more. Money never finish. <laughs> Yesterday's case we we do about Sino Hydro. The vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria called me yesterday. He said, Honorary President, sorry I missed your call. I said, sorry, sir, for bothering you. He said, wait in the here. So I said, nah, about the you know, hydro project. He said, you know I work with evidence. I said, yes, sir. You know I work with documents. I said, yes, sir. He said, give me the report. And I work on it. So, uh, consultant, I... Ordinary presence. Mm. You go sit down with Pamela and other people. We go compile everything. Yes. Sir. We go send down to the office of the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, sir. And he is ready to swing into action immediately. <laughs> Even the copy of the letter where we sent to Ram, the first time where these people carry cry come, mm. we go attach. The acknowledged copy mm. make we so that he go serve as a reminder to them because the office of the vice president they they handle plenty cases. Mm. We no uh, we no go expect him say he go remember this isolated case like that. Mm. And one good thing about them for the things where we don't do with them before documents no they miss for that no, office. For, for VP office, no. no, no. Now for chief of and, staff, and they, they respond to every message, every uh, mail where we send to them. It, now for chief of staff uh, to the president office, nine the document they lost. But mm. even the document we lost that time for chief of staff office, mm. when I put fire, mm. document for, come out from nowhere. Mm. Uh, when we they try to push uh, uh, 
bill, one bill on okay, that former chief of um, bill on um, persons living with disability. Mm. Uh, waiting be there, something. Yes, not him. They that former the, one. They said the document lost, mm. and we don't recover them. Thank you very much. Thank we'll, you, we'll make we appreciate her. Um, Williams, Ems, go, go, two thousand naira. Uh, sorry, one thousand so naira. I'm sorry. I na Freda David Ikwe na him be two thousand naira. Thank you. Make we na the minus and quick quick Mohammed Jumai two thousand naira. Thank you. Letters, Cletus Kingsley Eze. 1000 naira thank you abdurrahman abdul karim 1000 naira thank you um osume ade by oh no ibela say i don't mention osume ade by mohammed 2000 naira thank you so much michael Egbe, Egbe, uh, i don't i don't mention these two already <laughs> so give them the, the money abi you don't finish okay. oh yeah give them give them and then they contribute thank you money. sir yeah. My brothers, my sisters, if I looked at an assistant, then they give us signal, signal to do things, signal, make we continue to the van, they go. Uh, um, Marco, Vic, Amaku, 500 naira just now. Thank you, sir. My brothers, my sisters, if I looked at an assistant, then they give us signal, signal to do it. Signal, make we hear from my role model and mentor when it comes to mediation, arbitration, and reconciliation, <laughs> Mr. Shagun Ogun, you whoa, please make we appreciate him. Thank you, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. My president, mm -hmm. did you notice how this woman was remembering names? Everything, names of different officers she had met along the line. This woman brain na, na archive. <laughs> you are a blessing to Thank this nation. You, sir. Mm. You are a blessing. So Thank make it you, round sir. a little. Yes, sir. On behalf of all of us here, mm -hmm. we add 10,000 to the monthly list. So your salary Amen. is now 50,000 naira. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, madam, sir. what do I go do? Yes, sir. In order for me not to fail on my own part. Yes, sir. Before you go live here today, I don't get money. Okay, but you get person who is supposed to bring money for me this morning. Okay, sir. You get promises where I make here and there. Your salary. Yes, sir. I will come out six months salary. Give you first. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you, sir. So that the remaining money I go, other people will promise make I see how okay, I go. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Are you, you happy, man? I'm happy, over happy, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. So your salary now will be 50,000 naira Thank every you, month thank you sir uh, uh, you don't need your manager <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir